Hey there, my name is Chris, better known as Signs of Life. And in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at Riffer, which is now included in the new version of Pro Tools. Riffer is an inspiring step sequencer made by the good folks at Audio Modern, makers of the world's smartest music creation apps, including Loop Mix, Playbeat, Chord Jam, and tons more. Riffer is a creative MIDI sequencer that allows you to easily generate sequences, melodies, and riffs with ease. And like I said, it's now included in the new version of Pro Tools. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what Riffer is and how to use it in Pro Tools so you can get the most from this amazing sequencing plugin. Let's have a look. Riffer is a smart MIDI tool that generates musical riffs and sequences by combining pitch, duration, velocity, and density. Riffer is built to drive your sounds, both software and hardware. Turn your sequences into something unique or let it run endlessly using the infinity mode. You can set the plug into the key of your track and then use the dice button in the middle to generate new sequences. Riffer also features four separate sequencing engines, making it a polyphonic sequencing powerhouse. Each sequence can be set independently or you can link them all together. Start by setting the key of your track using the key selector at the top and then choose your desired scale with the menu on the top left. Riffer comes loaded with over 50 scale modes as well as the ability to save your own custom scales so you'll never run out of musical ideas. You can choose how many notes are in your sequence by adjusting the main slider at the top. You can also adjust the octave range by using the pitch slider on the left. To generate a sequence, click the dice button at the top for a randomized sequence or start clicking on the notes in the middle of the plugin. A pro tip when using Riffer is clicking on the dice not only randomizes the pitch, but also the note duration, velocity, and the density or ratcheting of notes. Density is useful when generating percussive sounds, but might not be what you want for a note sequence. To prevent this or to lock certain parameters in place, just click the lock button on the top. Finally, when you're ready to export your MIDI into Pro Tools, you can either record the output as you would a traditional instrument track, or simply drag and drop the MIDI right from Riffer by clicking and holding the MIDI button on the lower right of the plugin. Now that you're up to speed on Riffer, go have some fun. That's all the time we have for today. So before I go, I'd like to thank Audio Modern and Avid for having me. My name is Chris from Signs of Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video.